All right, so it's officially been one week that I've been using my Fitbit Sense. All right, so I'm really excited to be making this video because I'm gonna be unboxing and God damn it! I forgot to paint my nails again. It's okay. We don't judge here, right? Anyways, for today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the brand new Fitbit Sense. I bought it yesterday for Black Friday and I picked it up this morning and I am just really excited. And it's funny because I just posted a video of me doing Amazon must-haves and one of the products that I was raving about was the Fitbit Versa 2, which is what I use. And as I was looking through the Black Friday deals, I saw this and I didn't know that there was a brand new Fitbit, but... It has so many cool features that I just got suckered into buying it. And what I'm most excited about though is that it has a stress management technology so it tracks your stress. I'm gonna like take you with me through like a week of using it so we could see like what it does. But that's mainly what I'm mostly excited for. So let's open it. Oh wow, they made it like fancy. Look at that. All right, so I got the gold one, the one that has like gold around it, but the other option was all black. And I got the all black one for my Fitbit Versa, so I figured let's just switch it up. All right, so it comes with the watch. It comes with this, which I'm assuming is the charger. Oh, this charger, they always make the chargers different. All right, so this charger is actually so tiny. Hold up, so tiny. Um, and then it has instructions. It says, quick start guide, download the app. I already have it. Charge to 100, sync with the app, and then you're good. And then here's the watch. Oh! Oh, it's turning on. And then I think this is just an extra strap. Okay, so it's charged at 50% and it says to get the app now. So let me just pull it up. Oh, actually, I don't have the app. Okay, let's see what it looks like on my wrist. Alright, pretty cute. Alright, so we're setting it up. Here we go. Alright, so it's searching. All right, so as it's updating, it's telling me to get to know my scent. Right, so there's advanced health features, which it says it's compatible with ECG app, which I have no idea what that is. It gives you high and low heart rate notifications um, on risk skin temperature. So track skin temperature nightly to see trends over time. 24-hour uh, heart rate. Pretty cool. So it has built-in voice assistant interesting here we are the stress tracking management okay so this is what i'm interested in understand your body's response to stress and use the fitbit app to find stress management tools because a bitch is stressed as f um all right so it has eda scan app detect electrothermal activity which may indicate your body's response to stress um use the fitbit app to better understand and manage stress Track variations in your stress level over time. And then daily reflection. Easily log your stress level each day to look for trends in how you feel. Cool. So it has built-in GPS, active zone minutes, which is just tracking time spent in your personalized heart rate zones. And then it has 20 plus exercise modes and smart track. Awesome. So it also tracks your sleep. So it gives you a sleep score sleep stages and then you could also put your alarms for like sleep mode and all that and i know that this is similar to the apple watch but honestly since it's more geared towards fitness i prefer the fitbit more than the apple watch especially when it comes to things like sleep i noticed that the fitbit just goes way more in depth than the apple watch so that's just my opinion um you could also pay from your wrist when you go places so that's cool Oh wow, and you can take calls. That's awesome. All right, so it's at 38%. I will be back when we're at 100. All right, so it finished updating. Woo! 
so i'm gonna click continue and all right so now it's asking i guess stuff for my settings all right so it says that there's a built-in microphone but it will only be on when i'm using the voice feature so is it not going to listen in on my conversations all right, so set up voice assistant. I don't think I'm gonna do that because I don't really care. Set up on wrist calls. Should I do that? Mm, no. So now it says monitor your blood oxygen levels with or without the clock phase. Okay, cool. All right, so to change the band, it's showing me how to do it. So it's like this. All right, so let me practice. Okay. Okay, simple. Got it. All right, so now it's showing me how to wear the watch. Pretty simple. So you just slap it on, goes through this little hole, and then tighten it up, and then you slide it through the last little band, and there you go. Okay, so this is definitely an upgrade from the Fitbit Versa already. Like, the screen is nice. Wait, let me take it off so I can show you. Okay, so... Look at that. Oh my god, excuse the nails, but... Pretty nice. Okay, so it says to swipe right, it gives you like all the features. The volume, the brightness. Okay, got it. And then swipe left, it has the EDA scan, the voice assistant, exercise, the fitness stuff. Ooh, settings, timer, weather, alarm, relax, agenda. It has an agenda. I guess it does. Uh, wallet, clocks, find my phone. Hold up, I need to set that up. But it has Coach, Deezer, Spotify, and that's it. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I set it up. Um, I think I'm good for today. I'm just gonna like play with it a little more. And then I will fill you in tomorrow and the next day for the next seven days. I think I'm gonna give it seven days to give my final review. But um, yeah, I'll see you then. All right, so it's officially been one week that I've been using my Fitbit Sense. And as you can see, I even bought a animal print strap because I love it. Totally recommend it, 10 out of 10. But I've been using it, I've been doing like the guided meditations. I've been like taking advantage of everything Fitbit has to offer, especially since it comes with premium. But I love it and I'm definitely not returning it. Like I'm really happy with it. Also the battery life I feel like is a lot better than the Fitbit Versa. I feel like. Honestly, I'm really happy I got it. I know it's a little expensive, but I feel like it's worth it. I feel like this one's worth it more than the Fitbit Versa, if I'm being honest. Um, so if you're thinking of getting one and this is just too expensive, then I say get something cheaper than the Fitbit Versa. I mean, at the end of the day, it depends what you're going to be using your Fitbit for, but I don't know. I'm in love. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help me out. And yeah, I will see you in my next video.